It's Good Friday. And it's the way of the cross. Hundreds of Christian believers today jammed the streets in and around Kampala to mark the day on which Jesus Christ was crucified. The Archbishop of Kampala, Dr. Cyprian Kizitorwanga, the Archbishop Church of Uganda, Sanren Tagali, and the Metropolitan Heads of the Orthodox Church led Christians to all the Kampala. Organized by the Uganda Joint Christian Council, Dr. Wanga urged members of parliament to change the title of the marriage and divorce bill, reject the divorce, as well as amending the bill to provide for Christian cause. The title should be marriage and the family. Because people don't marry to divorce, but they marry to stay together and make a family. They talk about the cost of government, then they also talk about the cardi courts, which belong to our brother Muslims. We are appeal for the amendment of that article so that also our courts are recognized. Commander of Kampala is here. When people are being arrested, remember they were created in God's image. And all of us here are potential prisoners, but we have not yet been arrested. <laughs> when it comes to your turn to be arrested and you are treated the way I speak being treated, it is not good. Marking 50 years since Uganda Joint Christian Council was established, Archbishop Stanley Tagali launched the first and ever Bible for the blind in Uganda. This power working in us is the same as the mighty strength which he used when he raised Christ from death. Because maybe I could be a drunkard somewhere and then you're pastoring or you're, you're a priest and you're like, the Bible says we shouldn't take alcohol. I will ask you, is it written anywhere in Braille? Like we have had problems with any other literature, say Piasse, any other book that talks of infections and whatever. So the Braille Bible is one, a straight link to the spiritual life. It's going to cause a spiritual awakening. Yeah, persons with a visual impairment shall also grow spiritually. <laughs> An estimated 8% of Ugandans are said to be blind. And on this Good Friday, it has become an historical day. For the blind community in Uganda, they can now read the Bible on their own. Jingo Francis, NTV.